The Jersey Shore felt the power of this storm long before Sandy made landfall. As we said earlier, major portions of Atlantic City are now underwater, and Jeff Glor is there. As part of Sandy first arrived with the morning's high tide, the surge swept away 80 sections of this city's famed boardwalk. Water poured into streets, and officials estimated 85% of the city was soon flooded. Casinos had been ordered closed, and even though the state issued an evacuation order for more than 30,000 people, not everyone left. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. I'm very disappointed um, in the fact that some decided to disregard my instruction, in fact, my order, um, and I'm concerned that it might lead to the loss of life. How many people you got? Police tried to help stranded families, including Robert Stevens, his wife and three kids. Look at the little guy in our truck. Putting them into rescue vehicles and dropping them at a nearby shelter. It wasn't worth it staying. I would advise to get out. If you can get out, get out. You got out. Oh, yeah. Family safe. Yes. Police tell us some families do remain trapped. Christie ripped the mayor of Atlantic City, accusing him of not doing enough to encourage people to get out. That's going to cost people uh, significantly over the course of the next number of hours, unfortunately. I hope, I pray, that there won't be any loss of life because of it. That rescue you saw may have been the last for now. As of 4 o'clock this afternoon, emergency responders were told to stop that work and secure themselves. In Atlantic City, I'm Jeff Glor, CBS News. This is very unusual. I mean, this is usually wall-to-wall -wall traffic. And I'm hearing more and more stories of what I experienced. Were people cutting the lines? And, and fights almost ensuing. Another guy from our work said the same thing. He was in line for like 45 minutes. And then some guy just comes out of nowhere and cuts the whole line and just drives right in. I, <laughs> I was reading today on Drudge Report, where it was saying how down in uh, Coney Island, I think it was, they're, they were looting in broad daylight. It's that same mentality you saw during the riots of London, where they they interviewed the rider, and then they're like, why are you rioting? And they're, they're like, uh, well, we want everybody to be brought down to all level. That's the mentality of a looter. I mean, it, one, it's to gain something because they're selfish pieces of garbage. But two, um, it's, uh, it's the mentality of if I suffer, you suffer too. One of the part, stories that I read, cops in front of the liquor store, the thieves climbed on the back of the roof, cut a hole in the roof, and was passing liquor through the hole in the roof with the cops right there. So, the only way you're going to stop someone from looting is if they are coming up to your property or get into your property, they have a barrel pointing right at their head. And I don't even know how the other laws are in other states. I know around here in the tri-state area, you shoot and kill somebody, 
there's a good chance you're gonna go to jail. It's freaking ridiculous. Everything, I swear, all liberals are so backwards in their thinking. They, they completely give the rights to the individual who's the perpetrator with some kind of strange backwards belief that, you know, we, we, we have to figure out why they're doing this. And, you know, if, if you have the audacity to go into someone else's property with the likelihood of someone being home, it's the same thing if you invade a country, people are gonna kill you, they're gonna shoot and fight back. So why should, your, your house is your own little country, you know? And these people are invading that country. I mean, you, if it works on a Nash, uh, on a world level or a, you know, nation to nation level, what, why does it change when it's your house? Why can't you shoot and kill someone that comes in your house? The street is back again. This is all underwater. You can see all the kind of sediment buildings taking all their stuff out drying it out there's a long line of cars and they're trying to get through there's no single Because of you We don't wonder where we're going Or remember where we've been We've got to keep this traffic flowing And accept a little sin of the line. We'll follow it to its conclusion. People just waiting. Workers from Home Depot making sure people aren't blocking the entrance to Home Depot. And this line goes on and on. I believe it's going to this uh, station right here. And this is what's happening. It's, it's, these lines are causing... No, it's not this station. <laughs> that Shell station is closed and probably out of gas. Yeah, it has to be out of gas. Because it looks like it has power. And we're going and going. Ah, could it be the luck oil? I do believe it is. Wow. What chaos. Yep. That's everyone going to the Luck Oil place. People lining up with gas cans. It's amazing. There you have it folks, gas stations closed. No gas. I've just counted uh, one, two, three, four, five gas stations that are out of gas. And all that traffic.
This is a line. Four in the morning, okay? When I left at 12 midnight to go do this, this job, this line was still here. And they're all going to that gas station right over there. Okay? So we're gonna follow this out. I mean, this is unbelievable. Four in the morning, guys. Okay, it wraps around. Wraps around this street here. And it keeps going. And this is the beginning of the line. I mean, this is unbelievable. Just for gas. This is it's craziness. The continual Route 46. I mean, it's gonna be pretty amazing when you guys look at this when it's actually lit up. I'm definitely gonna do it before and after. I was glimpsing some news. I haven't been able to watch the news that much, but I'll tell you. If this doesn't get people to prepare, and now we have a nor'easter coming, another nor'easter. Cold weather, it's supposed to be in the 30s tonight. And people don't have enough heat. Or any heat at all. Yeah, this is uh, it's the real deal. This is basically uh, Katrina style disaster that's for sure and it just gets worse and worse as the days roll on well here's something that's uh, pretty neat we've been given these letters because of uh, working for the telecommunications company and it allowed us to uh, skip over these lines it's just crazy. 